Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to an eventing show vlog, the first one for 2022. How exciting. I am here with someone looking a little bit different to Enzo. Cads, do you want to say hi to everyone? He's like, where are we guys? <laughs> Just having a look around. Hey handsome, this is the big boy I'm riding this weekend. We are doing the eventing 80 off the track class. This is Caddy otherwise known as Black Cadillac is his show name. So we're in the 80 off the track, very excited. I've actually never done an 80 course here. I've only done the 65, I think, a year and a half ago on Enzo. So I'm very, very excited for this weekend. I can't believe I'm finally back out eventing. Um, don't worry guys, Enzo, you know, is not lame or, or sore or anything. It's just that he's not quite 100% ready to be out competing at the moment. I'm still riding him full time, but I have been given the opportunity to ride Caddy, which I could not refuse. So I'm so excited to be riding him. Now, I've ridden him twice, literally before this event. So one was a trail ride and a bit of a gallop um, along the Gijiganup Hills. And then the second time, um, his owner, Jane, was like, go and enter, go, go do a couple of rounds at um, the Brooklyn Show Jumping Dave with Swan River Jump Club. I was like, Okay, so I did two 80s there and he was just incredible. Um, Tim didn't come with me that event, I went by myself. So I didn't um, do a show vlog or anything like that. But the first round, we had one just lazy rail vertical down. I think it was number six. And then our second round, we went clear. So he's really good. He's actually a horse that you need to get your leg more on for. Whereas like Enzo, you have to be a little bit more defensive, I guess. Um, so with him, I actually need to rev up the engine to get him going. So that's going to be quite interesting for me. Now, I haven't actually done any proper flat work dressage on him. So I'm going to have a ride this afternoon to test the buttons of the big boy um, and see what he likes. And hopefully we can do an okay test. I'm not expecting anything absolutely amazing since I haven't really um, done dressage on him before but it's just a matter of having fun this weekend. I'm feeling really happy, really confident and I'm just glad that he's settled in super well. Travelled a dream um, and he's just munching on some hay. He's got his water and then yeah I'm gonna let him chill. I'll go for a ride a bit later and then my helper duty I'm doing dressage arena setup which I think will be over here. Um, I'm doing that at 3.30. So it's good that we've got here up on the Friday. It is Friday midday. What time is it, Tim? About 12.30? Yeah. Yeah, so we left Gijigan up almost two hours ago now. So it took us an hour and 45 to get here. So a bit of a trek. We've set up the swag. Um, but yeah, very, very excited to get my helper duty done and out of the way this afternoon. So let's let him chill and let's finish unpacking the car. All right, so I thought I'd quickly take advantage of just getting on him now and not letting him chill and then tacking him up. Just getting straight into it. Let's go for a ride. Let's see how he goes. He looks very sleepy, don't you? He's like, yeah, this is tough work. <laughs> so let's get on and get going. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. He's just had a lovely wash to cool him down. Oh, and rubbing on the steel. Is that nice? Um, he is so lovely to ride. His trot is a lot more bouncy um, than Enzo. So I'm like trying to really control my balance and my seat. Um, that, that is something I've definitely got to work on. But for my first proper flat ride on him, he is really lovely. And it's actually so nice to have a feeling of riding different horses. So that's my ride for today done. My plan is now just to make sure he doesn't roll because I don't want him to get dirty. Um, I'll put his cotton on. We'll fill up his water once he's drunk a bit more. Hi, handsome. Such a cutie. Such like a people pony too. Loves a cuddle. Oh, I think he wants Tim to give him a treat. He's like, where's my Tim? Is it my Tim got a treat? Um, so yeah, very happy with the ride. I've my walk to trots I worked on quite a bit. They got better. Um, trot. Did I just say walk to trot? Yeah. And then my trot to walks were good. Trot to canter. I think I've got to have a bit more forward, a bit more impulsion to get a really nice transition. Oh, good boy. He's going to have some hay now. Um, <clears throat> so I've definitely got to get that because otherwise I feel like if I don't have the impulsion, 
his head will come like above the bit um, and I won't get a nice canter transition. So, here you go. Do you want some of this? Um, so that's my plan. I might, I might have a little like 15, 20 minute ride tomorrow morning because my test tomorrow isn't until almost one o'clock. So I've got all morning. Um, so I might do that in the morning. Oh, look at this. How's this for a treat? Is that Lucen? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He's like, that's the hay I want, guys. <laughs> so that's the plan today, anyways. So I'm going to do my helper duty in a little bit. I'm going to change into some shorts because it is quite hot. Have, do my helper duty. Have a shower. Go to the food trucks. Have a little bit of bite to eat. Sleep in the swag. And then I will see you guys in the morning when I give him his breakfast. And I might do a little bit of a pre-ride as well. But... No rain this weekend, guys. How good is that? I, I, I think every eventing event I almost went to last year, it rained. That might be a lie, but I have a feeling it was because that's all I can remember. Anyways, I'm rambling, so I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> oh. Good morning, everyone. I literally just woke up like two minutes ago. I did. So he's eaten this massive bag of hay you've eaten a whole lot and i'm sure you're starving so let's get you your brekkie let me clean out your stable and fill up your hay bag cats has finished his brekkie filled up his hay bag we're just gonna go for a he's like, i want to go that way to the coffee van um, we're just going to take it for a little walk, stretch his legs because he's been in that little stall overnight. And then I'm going to take him back. And actually, I might even plot. Um, they should be able to stay in until midday, so we'll see. So, yeah, I think it's, what time is it, Tim? 7.30? Yeah. 7.30-ish. Um, so, yeah, we'll just give him a nice walk to stretch his legs and then head back. Is it nice to be out of venting again? Yeah. It's really nice. Cool mornings, camping. I really love it. Like, it, I think at the end of the day, like, I love eventing. Eventing's what I love doing. Like, you know, all three phases, camping away. But, you know, I also, I like, I really like you know, show jumping days. Um, and I really enjoy doing dressage. So I feel like eventing encompasses all of it. And obviously cross country is a no brainer. Everyone loves cross country. So that way eventing you get to all three, you're not just limited to one discipline. This mane is very silky smooth. It's gonna be a little hard to pluck. But today I've decided to divide all of my parts up first. Sometimes I do one section, flat it, and then move on to the next. Today we're changing it up a bit and dividing it all first. <laughs> I'm really excited to be out of ending. And I think it's good that we're in the shade here and we're not in any of the sun. I thought that we would get the sun this morning, didn't you? No. All right, resting you guys there. I got myself changed. Why am I nervous? You lo I love eventing. I love eventing. Why do you get nervous? I guess it's not as exciting if you don't get nervous. If you're comfortable, then maybe something's wrong. I don't know. That's what I'm telling myself. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling nervous and I don't know why. Like, I guess I want to do well, but I've only ridden him twice. Why am I putting this unnecessary pressure on myself when I should just be going out there to have fun? So I'm going to go out there and have fun. Okay, cool. All right. That's my little self prep so what's the test send up the center line track left loop and that is all that is all that's all that needs to be done i just need to get through this test and just see how we go and just have fun like it's such an opportunity that i'm even able to be here an event considering Enzo isn't ready so I should just have fun and be thankful of this opportunity which I am
they didn't toot the horn, so I think I did everything right. It's a complete blur. I can't remember a thing. What happened? Who am I? And where has the last half an hour gone? I don't have a clue. Guys, I'm really happy. You guys might be like, oh, that maybe could have been better. And yeah, there's definitely spots that could have been better. But for him and I, well, hang on, sorry, we're moving. Thank you. Um, for my third ride on him, I'm so happy. What more could you ask for? A horse that you've like literally ridden on at the grounds. One shot show jumping around last weekend. And then going into a test. So that sand was definitely boggy. I'm so pleased I didn't do too much of a warm up over on the grass. I did most of it here on the sand and just kept him going, kept him going, doing transitions. Up the center line, I think was quite good. Our loop was okay, but the picking up the, um, the left canter, and I knew that might've happened. He did lift his head a little bit, um, but he, you know, got the right lead and everything. That wasn't a drama. Um, and I think it was okay. I think my circle, circle was a little bit inaccurate. The downs was, was okay. I was really happy with the trot across the diagonal. The walk was really good. But then as soon as I kind of picked up the reins to kind of ask for the trot in front of the judge, his head kind of came up. I think he just was looking at everyone around, you know, which is pretty normal. You know, he hadn't been over there before. He's getting a rub on the eyes from Timbo. Um, so yeah, um, and then coming up, then my canter the other way, the right canter leg was definitely better. We picked that up pretty nicely in that bottom corner. Um, but look, it wasn't a perfect test. I'm sure there's people who are going to be scoring a lot better than me today. But for me and Cads, of course I've ridden three times. I'm very happy. Hopefully you guys think the same. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever just ridden a horse twice and gone into a dressage um, test before. But, you know, it was pretty nerve wracking. And to be honest, I did feel quite ill beforehand. Um, gosh, the wind's picked up. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, anyways, I'm gonna t take everything off, give him more hose down, and then I might actually go walk my cross country because my show jumping and cross country is tomorrow, but I can't walk my cross country between my show jumping and cross country because there's not enough time. Okay, catch you soon. I got my dressage score and I got a 34.7 um, for my test, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, you know, third ride on CADS, very, very happy with to get like a sub kind of 35 score. However, I did think we would do a little bit better than that. Oh, he's just on a poo. <laughs> I was kind of thinking it might have been about a 31, 32, but according to the feedback, the judge really likes a horse to be really um, round and bent and, um, um, and showing all those sorts of things, which I didn't really have nailed at all on CADS because it's only been my third ride. Um, so in that sense, I understand why I got the score that I did. Um, but yeah, there was some lovely um, comments in there about it being active, which was good. That was one thing I was really worried about is not having the activity and not having the forwardness. Um, but obviously we got that, but we just didn't have the bend um, and the roundness. So all in all, very happy. He was chilling with his friends, looking at everything, taking it all in, probably going, am I meant to be jumping this afternoon? No cads, that's tomorrow. Um, I've walked my cross country course twice today um it's looking really good a couple of tricky parts but i'm really excited to ride it and get back out cross country gosh it feels like i have not done a cross country course in ages and i reckon it must be six months and that's kind of the most exciting part of eventing is going cross country so i'm literally going to have a snack have a beverage i am going to make sure he is all sorted um clean out his stall and then i'm going to go watch some of the star classes do their show jumping this afternoon um because they're doing that now i guess instead of us doing our um show jumping today so that is all for today guys i am going to sign off for saturday and i will check back in with you guys in the morning because all i'm going to do is chill and eat and chat to some friends and have dinner and go to bed <laughs> see you guys in the morning morning guys it is sunday i am already changed and ready sorry i didn't kind of turn the vlog on as soon as i woke up from the swag um very tired this morning but i woke up really late woke up at 7 30 and i could hear the hustle and bustle from like six so i had a really lovely sleep in actually um i am currently on the cross country course all the warm-up is behind me for the 95 um oh we got one galloping past all happening this morning um but yeah so plan is i'm gonna walk my course again get all my minute markers know where they are um i've already had some water I had an up and go this morning i might get a coffee a little bit later but i will show you guys the course um so you can see what it looks like <laughs>
so all walked the cross country course. So I think for the last time, I don't know if I'm gonna walk it again. I got all my minute markers, I know where they are. They are 4, 7, 12, 4, 7, 12, 15, and then 18, around there. Um, so yeah, no, I'm really, really looking forward to it, really looking forward to today. Hopefully just get like another, well, not really. Well, it's gonna be like just a confidence build for me. Um, because, you know, I haven't really had a horse that can, you know, just take me around really nicely and calmly and so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, Tim, you, you didn't um, even see me show jump on him last weekend, did you? No. No, so the course looks good. The course, I can't wait to get out there. Um, I think 14 is like this kind of a really big okay, step out of the water. Oh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, might catch a few people, so we will just see how we go, but I think that's pretty much the only question in there, isn't it? 14. Yeah, there's a few decent ones, definitely, at height. Is it 8 to 9, the Tricana? Oh yeah, 8 to 9. Oh yeah, the Tricana with the ditch underneath. Um, we saw it got quite a few people in the 95, so it might catch some people in the 80, we'll see. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. So I've got a few hours before I even need to consider getting ready. So I'm going to take Cads for a walk um, and make sure that I probably take his top rug off now because I think it's getting a little bit warmer. Right, I've quickly run back to the float because I think that the 80 centimetre course will be open for walking and I think the walk is before all of the 80 centimetres so I'm assuming it'll be like the adults then maybe the juniors then off the tracks or you know maybe all mixed up in there because my what's the time 10 30? Oh, almost 11. Almost 11 so I've got like an hour and 45 until I go. Be a walk course to see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, shoe jumping is done. Such an unlucky rail at the B part of that double. Oh my gosh. So frustrated, but you know, what can you do? I set him up really nice to that first part. And then the second part, he just almost just like didn't even like jump over it. But anyways, it is what it is. So I added four penalties to my score. So I'm sitting in 10th going into cross country. Um, who knows, hopefully we go fingers crossed and double clear and the leaderboard might change and we might move up we don't know um but i'm just going to go around and have fun i'm going to write all my minute markers on my arm and yeah but overall he felt a little excited going into that show jumping around to be honest the cross country warm-up is right next to where the show jump warm-up and where the show jump rounds are and I messaged Jane, his owner, like literally just before. She's like, oh, how did he feel? I was like, oh my gosh, I like didn't even need half as much leg as what I did last weekend at Brooklyn. And she's like, oh, was the like, and I told her that the um, 
the, the cross country warm up was right nearby and she's like oh that actually when i was doing the 95 on him last year he did get a bit tense and a bit frazzled with the cross country warm up just there because he was you know so excited and i did just ride him in a snaffle today sometimes jane rides him in his stronger bit that we've got for cross country so we live and learn i've only ridden him twice or three times you know it's not like i've been riding him for months and know that that's how he goes and maybe that other bit would have been better for my show jump round today but it is what it is i'm excited to be out let's get this cross country done there is such a hold up everything is massively delayed i think our show jumping was running maybe an hour behind and cross country which is a good thing is 45 minutes behind otherwise we would have had to have gone straight from <laughs> show jumping to the cross country start box so i'm going to slowly start getting ready now um and on to cross country I told you like the pre run for cross country i'm walking out to warm up because i'm running a little bit late a bit of breastplate problem i don't know like the strap from the girth wasn't there that we attach it to and then we couldn't fit it feed it in through so now i'm already on the horse and i'm going out to cross country without a breastplate so across my heart i hope that we're okay and i hope we're safe it's just 80 got around got my minute markers i'm ready to go okay let's go bye Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words guys 
the adrenaline is pumping after that cross country round. Wow, I have not done a cross country course in six months and oh, it was so good to be out in the start box. I was like, wish it goes five. And I was like, all the way over the other side, so I had to quickly try into the start box. Press my timer, um, optimum time 5.52. Couldn't really get closer if I tried. How silly of me. I really woed to the last three and I should have just kept traveling and it would have been cruisy. Um, but he was on his minute markers perfectly. He didn't charge off with me, even though he's used to doing speeds a lot faster cross country. Um, he didn't look at anything bit of a left drift I should have just had my left leg more and I should have maybe had my bat in my left hand not my right hand um why did I do that but coming out of the water that pond was perfect he literally went one two through the water I just gave him a bit of a tap because the stride was there and boom out he went nothing phased him it was lovely into the water so brave everything just really really lovely I almost overturned from like the trachea to the roll top and then he and I think he ended up Tim, do we end up jumping that on an angle? Which one? The, from eight to nine. Eight to nine, yeah. Oh, nine? I landed on eight and like completely overshot it. And then came around to nine and I was like, you have to get over it now. And he's just like, okay. Um, and still got around. So look at him, absolutely chilled. Oh, bit of an itch, good boy. So yeah, lots of things to learn. And I think honestly, if I had this horse with time, my goodness, I could learn his buttons. and be unstoppable like considering i've only ridden him twice before this event did a pretty decent dressage of 24 7 just had that unlucky show jump rail at the part bay um you know and maybe if i rode in this bit i definitely would have had a bit more of control in that double that might have helped but hindsight's a wonderful thing and you know knowing him as well as jane does jane goes you know well if cross country is nearby he does get a little bit tense and excited so the things you learn but my goodness it is just lovely hey good boy i'm gonna get off i'm going to give him a big hose down um the breastplate problem wasn't even an issue i'm gonna dismount oh goodness oh ah, graceful guys um and let's get him home hey so we might move up a placing or two not sure but it doesn't matter but well done cats hey he goes thanks everybody all right guys it has been two hours since i spoke to you last the sun is setting literally we're going to get home in the pitch black which tim i know you're not really impressed about are you i'm hungry you're hungry well, he's very hungry very very hungry and we're going to take the turns nice and slow for cats just turning onto the main highway now guys two hours we had to wait pretty much since my cross country course ended um, and I was on such a high, I hosed him down and I was like, all right, let's pack up. Well, we put the towel wrap on, we put his boots on and then someone goes, oh, Elizabeth, you might wait because there was a, a couple of refusals and lots of people got time. And I said, what, really? And they're like, do you know what, wait, have a look at the scores and see how you go. So I did, we waited and we waited and we waited so long, but Da, 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 da. We got fifth, guys! Incredible, the good boy cats. Gosh, so after dressage on a 34 7, where were we? Eighth. Eighth. With my one rail down, we only moved to ninth. I think I said tenth, but they must have got um, like penalties wrong. I moved only down one placing to ninth. And because of our super strong double clear cross country, um we came back up into the placings and we just waited around then um for i think there might have been protests and stuff but i've got my fifth place i am so happy um <laughs> the girl who won bless her heart the horse was so nice but like wouldn't stand still for the photo i'm like trying to smile there and with my rosette but i'm just so pleased that we waited and i'll try and show you guys a little cute photo look at him Oh, Cad's man. He was in the float all ready to go. Tim had loaded him up. Look, there's another one. And then I'll show you guys just because I probably won't upload this to Instagram. Um, but look at him coming out of the water at jump 14, which I thought was insane. Look at him. Pew! Massive. So absolutely excited, elated, stoked. Um, feeling very accomplished and very thankful to Jane obviously who has lent me caddy for the weekend and I just can't thank her enough for allowing me to take him he's been such a dream and I can't thank Tim enough 
the chips just sitting here driving. I should show you his face, guys. No, thanks to Tim. I love you. Oh, guys. And for the endless support and with the swag and camping. I know it's tough and I know it's blood, sweat and tears sometimes, but I appreciate him too. And of course, off the track for sponsoring the class and for Murray and the committee and everyone for putting on such an amazing event. Um, I'm signing off. We are done. We are on the highway. We're heading home. First eventing comp of the year done with the black Cadillac man and I'm happy as ever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe as it would really mean a lot and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.